Before you start to grout, the paving must be completely dry and free of any dust and debris. You may also need to lightly wipe down with a damp sponge and check there is no water in the joints because this will affect the colour of the grout as it dries. Crack open the lid and take out the sealed bags and it's best just to mix half of the tub at a time, especially on a hot day. Using clean water, measure out 1.2 litres into a clean sturdy bucket. A good tip is to use a marker pen on the side of your measuring jug, one at 1 litre and one at 200 millilitres. Gradually pour in one 5 kilogram bag of grout. There are some tubs which will have four bags of 2.5 kilograms. If this is the case, then use two 2.5 kilogram bags with 1.2 litres of water. Thoroughly mix with a paddle mixer until it's a nice thick creamy texture with no lumps. Okay, so the grout is now mixed and ready to be applied to the paving. And to do that, we can use a traditional squeegee or a float. Alternatively, you can use a grout applicating gun. Keeps the job cleaner and quicker. And you can pick these up for around about £30. The traditional method of applying the grout is using a rubber float. Completely fill the joint by pressing the grout in. Always try and keep any excess grout on the slab to a minimum, which will make it easier for you to clean down. Another method is using a grout applicating gun. Whilst filling the tube can take some time, it's much cleaner and quicker to apply into the joints. Just make sure that the grout fills the joint right to the bottom. As you can see, passing the rubber float along the line leaves very little excess to clean off. When the grout has started to firm up, wipe any excess off using a tiling sponge. And here is another top tip. To help the cleaning down process, we recommend using Pavestone Porcelain Tile Protector. Simply apply along the joints before you start the grouting. For more installation hints and tips, visit the website pavestone.co.uk.